Axel nodded. Then, in the steadiest voice he can muster, he said, "One, two, three." Axel swung open the front door, and with Rolf on his right and Lonnie on his left, he led them straight into battle. Over here, bozos! Axel taunted. Immediately, the group of half a dozen zombies ceased terrorizing the couple in the vehicle and diverted their attention to Axel, Rolf, and Lonnie. Axel initially felt chilled at the realization of there being more than a dozen zombies, which was more than the original six he had viewed from the hotel entrance. Like Mr. Anderson, they had the appearance of being everyday citizens with shirts and jackets. Their glazed-over eyes told a different story, coupled with incessant heavy breathing through their mouths. While releasing a deafening growl, the zombies charged towards them as drool dripped from their faces like wild beasts. Axel and Rolf wielded their guitars like baseball bats as the zombies charged towards them at an unnatural speed. Once in striking distance, Axel and Rolf distributed knockout blows using their guitars as clubs. Lonnie clanged a zombie in the head with his cymbals. Feeling a rush of adrenaline, Axel charged the mob, swinging his guitar as he repelled the clawing hands and snapping jaws. At one point, Axel felt a weasel piggyback on him from behind, sinking his fangs into his jacket on his right shoulder. Grunting in pain, Axel held his guitar by the body and slammed it into the beast, freeing himself from its grasp. He had no time to focus on his injured shoulder as a rabid, glazed-eyed zebra charged towards him from the front. Axel swung the guitar into the side of the zebra's head, ignoring the pain from his shoulder. Hell, that's a real headbanging right there! Lonnie shouted with a grin. <laughs> Axel rolled his eyes at Lonnie's joke, but he was grateful that the lion still had a sense of humour despite the circumstances. Axel approached the vehicle of the trapped couple and extended his hand as they quickly opened the door and crawled out. Hey, Scott! Shouted the elderly bearded male terrier. I thought those monsters were gonna eat us alive. This is the last time I let you plan our vacation. The female terrier grumbled. She held up her long green dress from dragging in the mud. Do you know what the heck is going on? Axel asked. Is the end times that what? The terrier exclaimed. What we have just witnessed, my friends, is the decline of civilized life as we know it. Huh? Rolf asked. Oh, come now, the terrier scolded. Have you been living under a rock? This has been a long time coming through the three evils of soul corruption that are video games, reality TV, and loud music. Don't start with loud music, mister, Rolf growled. How can reality TV turn people into zombies? Lonnie pondered. Don't be ignorant, young ones, said the terrier as he pulled two unusual backpacks from the back seat of the car. I've been kidding ways for no one. Axel watched curiously as the terriers strapped on their backpacks. Either way, you folks best stick with us, Axel said, flicking his tongue at the smell of some form of fuel. The male terrier chuckled. <laughs> Not happening, friends. You see, we were the enlightened ones who watched for the signs. And subscribe to a black market military contractor, the female terrier said. Suddenly, flames blasted from the bottom of their packs. Best of luck, young ones, the male terrier said. Then the terriers blasted off into the air with their jet packs. The ground shook, and the band stumbled back from the impact. Axel stood there in shock. Did I just watch two dogs escape on jet packs? He said to no one in particular. I've finally seen it all, he thought. What the heck? Rolf growled as he staggered back. You're welcome! Axel jeered as he watched the elderly couple disappear into the sky. My Marin Gramps sure know how to show gratitude for someone who just saved the hides! Rolf scoffed. Axel rolled his eyes. But how does reality TV turn people into zombies? 
Lonnie again pondered aloud. Heaven's sake, Lonnie, those two old geezers were out of their mind. Are they out of their minds? In case you hadn't noticed, there's some sort of zombie invasion going on right now. It looks like the joke is on us after all, Axel said. What do we do? cried Lonnie. Just then, a rumbling of a stampede crashed in the distance. Now might be a good time to head for the van, Axel said in a shaky voice. They slowly stepped away from the direction of the approaching sound. As they gazed at the line of wrecked cars that plagued both sides of the road, they could see figures leaping up normally high over the obstacles as they charged in their direction. Head for the van, Rolf shouted as he ran down the street with Lonnie. What about Whaley? Axel said, noticing their walrus friend was nowhere to be found. Forget Whaley, retorted Rolf. He's probably hiding under a bed or something. Axel released a growl of frustration as he reluctantly followed after his bandmate.